Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OOP1 students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 3 in this series and is entitled Java Math Operations. For activity number 3, we will create a Java class that reads a float number from a user. We will get its half, quarter, double, and square. And we will display the four results. There is only one input for this activity, the float number. We're going to use the variable num. There are four things that we have to do for the process. We have to compute for the half, which is equal to num divided by 2. The quarter, which is equal to num divided by 4. The double, which is equal to num times 2. Notice that I added a letter D after the word double because double is a reserved word and we cannot use it as a variable. The last thing we have to do is to get the square, which is equal to num times num. And for our output, we have to display all these four results, half, quarter, double, and square. Before we start with our activity, some students are annoyed by the automatic comments displayed upon creating a new project. If you want to delete that, click Tools, Templates, Java, Java main class, open in editor, and from here you can delete the comments. I suggest that you retain the top comments because comments are really very important. It allows other users to easily understand your program. Save it. Let's create a new project. Let's call it Java Basic Math. Make sure that you are in your right folder. Click Finish. We need some entries from the user. So we will use the scanner class. We'll instantiate that again. Let's call it entry. And inside it is system that in. Be mindful of the red circle appearing in your line numbers because that denotes that there is an error in your line. And now it's semicolon. Let's declare our five variables with float. Num, half, quarter, doubled, and square. Let's ask the user to enter a number. We will put that value in variable num. The instantiation of scanner is entry. That next, it should be float because our num variable is float. Now let's do the operations. Half is equal to num divided by 2. Quarter is equal to num divided by 4. Doubled is equal to num times 2 and square is equal to num times num now let's display the results system that out that print line I will use print line first for the half half of plus to concatenate it with the value of the number and again plus to display the constant text string is another plus for the result the variable half and semicolon for quarter let's use printf system dot out dot printf quarter I forgot the double quotes. Quarter of 
we need the format specifier and since it's a float number we're going to use percent f is another format specifier f and we need a new line so the escape sequence character for a new line is backslash n this uh, is something that you have to enter only when you're using printf that percent f and backslash n now the arguments we have two percent f so that means two variables the first percent f should represent the value of num and the second one represents the value of the quarter okay so that's the difference between print line and print app let's use print app for the rest of the results I'll just copy them this is for the double and this is for the square and the result is also square that's it now we can run the program Let's enter a number, let's say 7. And there are the 4 results. Well done, guys. Let's continue with activity number 4. Create a Java class that asks a user to enter 2 integers. Determine which among the two numbers is higher and get its cube. Display the higher value and the cube. To help us out, we will be using math class methods. These are some of the methods that are already available using math class. We will be using max and pow for activity number 4. We have two inputs. We're going to declare them as n1 and n2. For the process, we have to get the higher. We can use math.max. And for cube, we can use math.pow. Notice that the exponent value is 3. And then we have to display as output the values for higher and cube. Let's create a new project. Let's call it Java Math. Import Java that util that scanner. Let's instantiate that scanner. Scanner entry is equal to new scanner system that in Don't forget a semicolon let's declare all the variables as double this is because of the mat.fow which only takes doubles as a result to higher and a cube now let's ask the user to enter the numbers let's start with the first number Enter the first number. Let's put it in N1. So that's entry dot. Next should be double. We can just copy this for the second number. And the variable to hold the second number is n2. That's it for input. Now for the process, we have to compute for higher. Higher is equal to using the mat.max function. We have n1 and n2. And for the cube, we can use the mat.pow function higher and cube is 3 meaning to the third power done with the operation now let's display our output system that out that I will use print up the higher value between the format specifier for the number percent for the double it's also percent f and another double number percent f is the result percent f 
and the keep sequence character backslash n for the new line so for the arguments we have three n1 the first number n2 the second number and higher whichever is higher between n1 and n2 and the last one we have to display the value of the do the cube the cube of higher is the cube Let's put backslash n now the arguments higher and cube semicolon that's it now we can run our program let's enter the first number let's see 17 the second number 11 there it goes everyone you just finished applying math operations in java thank you for taking the time to watch this video mass